3, your back to school authority. Waterbury students are back in the classroom today. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler takes us to Waterbury Career Academy where she spoke with students. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I'm a little nervous too. <laughs> yeah, I got a little nervous inside of me. Nerves. It's the number one feeling students say they're experiencing. But with butterflies also comes excitement. But I can't wait to like see the new people that are coming in. Sophomore Jonathan Muniz says he's eager to make this year better than the last. Just stay on top of my work. You know, do things better than I did last year. For this trio of seniors, they say Waterbury Career Academy has given them ample opportunities to study a number of areas. We have four strands and they're based on like what you kind of want to go into. Our health strand, you can get your like CNA before you graduate. Now they say a four year college is on their minds. I already have that extra step in high school. Students may be returning to the classroom on Monday, but school staff have already been hard at work. Superintendent Verna Ruffin says the district has implemented new safety changes, which includes more security cameras at schools. Ruffin says the district is also using a new alert system called Mutual Link, which uh, provides an alert system and immediate response for our first responders. We have various monitors, both with the police department as well as within Waterbury Public Schools. One thing the district is still working on is staffing. Right now, the district is 100 teachers short. 60 of those positions are within special education. We have several partnerships with uh, community, uh, with colleges, and we're going to continue to look at their graduation list and make offers to teachers that are going to be graduating even in the uh, winter months. Between staff and students, everyone says they're ready to take on a new school year. In Waterbury, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.